Welcome to another Comotherapy Case Report Summary. My name is Garrett Mern, and today's case is on a brain injury following an auto accident, a cerebral hemorrhage. This case was kindly submitted by Dr. Larry Wallace. For condition, we have a 61-year-old female who was in an auto accident and had an injury to the left parietal area of her brain, which resulted in left side neglect. Medical history, none prior to the accident. She was healthy. And as a result, she had a loss of the left inferior visual field, which you can see here indicated in the pictures. She had reduced vision in her right eye. She had light sensitivity or photophobia, extreme fatigue, and chronic headaches. Along with this came a visual midline shift syndrome, which basically means an individual has an egocentric center, and this is where they perceive the middle of their body. When they have certain kinds of neglect or injuries, that midline can shift either horizontally or vertically. And when that happens, it throws the individual's posture off, as well as their whole sense of balance. In conjunction with this, she had suppression of binocular vision. She was shutting off her right eye in, able to, in order to be able to see. For treatment, we have 13 treatments over a period of seven weeks were done in office using Neurology 3 treatment, which was modified, as you can see here in the picture. In conjunction with this, the location of the hemorrhage was also treated for five minutes at 50 hertz each treatment. The Delta Pro 905 model was used. Other therapies, in this case, there were 13 sessions of vision therapy that were done for three months, which happened six months prior to commencing coma therapy, resulted in some improvements, but it didn't affect her visual fields. She did say she felt better and could coordinate her eyes a little better, but there was no, like I said, change in visual fields, but approved, improved excuse me, acuity and eye coordination as a result, and there were no medications in the case. So after the 13 treatments over seven weeks, uh, in terms of acuity, the right eye, well, there's some blur still there, but it went from 2060 minus a letter to 2040 minus a letter. As you can see here on the chart on the right, and her left eye at 2020, the headaches had ceased and midline shifts had also reduced. And you can see here more of what I mean through this diagram up in the right. With respect to the visual fields, if you can picture it, they measure 16 areas, obviously not a square like this charts, but this is just for demonstration. 16 areas of vision for defects. And at the start of care, five of those 16 had defects in her right eye, and four of the 16 had defects in her left. And after the treatments, the right eye had two out of 16 areas still with defects, and the left eye no defects. So the blind spots would be greatly reduced. And she herself reported having improved peripheral vision and her depth perception was improved as well as her sense of balance. She'd said, you know, before the treatment, she'd look at somebody and she'd only see part of their face. The bottom half was gone. You can see that indicated in the pictures here. Now she can see the faces of her family and she has improved mobility in terms of her balance and ability to walk around. So I want to thank you for following along, and I trust this case report summary will be of use to you or someone you know. And a very special thank you to Dr. Larry Wallace. And Dr. Wallace is a behavioral optometrist, and he's been an integral part of the College of Syntonic Optometry for over 40 years. And both he and the college are dedicated to the education and research in the field of light and color therapy. He is a certified low vision specialist and has worked extensively in the field of visual rehabilitation for head trauma and brain injury. Dr. Wallace is also the patent holder of the first microcurrent device to treat retinal disease, and he travels the world over educating others in the fields of light and color therapy and specifically applications in syntonic phototherapy. We'll see you next time.